Tell you what, we'll talk more about what we have coming up this weekend. I do want to give a forecast for at least the next few hours as we go into our Friday night. It's been a great week of weather, and we're going to cap it off with a great night out at the ballpark. First pitch, 640, like Yuki just said. Temperatures will be near 83 degrees, just about perfect conditions as we go into our Friday evening. Now, the weekend, it could be a little bit more uh, perfect. We could deal with some uh, a little more sunshine than what we're going to have. But for this evening, enjoy the nice dry weather. Temperatures will stay in the 80s for the next few hours, and then we'll gradually cool eventually eventually bottoming out in the upper 60s as we kick off our Saturday morning. Next weather alert. I want to let you know about this because this is for Sunday. Tomorrow we could still see some showers or storms, but I think the storms on Sunday run a slightly better chance of uh, being a little bit on the severe side, mainly because of the heavy downpours that could result in some flash flooding. Also watching for some of the stronger storms that could also produce the flash flooding may also produce some damaging winds. Now again, this is mainly through Sunday afternoon. Saturday, we could still see a couple of those showers or storms out there, but we do have the next weather alert up for Sunday due to that threat of the potential of flash flooding and some damaging winds. I wanted to show you this shot from Cape May right now because this is another side to our weather story this weekend that we'll be watching closely, and that's going to be the surf. Seeing some waves pick up just a little bit in Cape May. We will continue to watch the surf rise as we head through the next 48 hours or so where we could see 5 to 10 footers as a result of Ernesto passing well offshore. But still this evening, very nice down the shore. Temperatures are in the upper 70s to right around 80 degrees across South Jersey. Mid upper 80s now we will start to cool off as that sun gets ready to set back through the Philadelphia area looking really nice 86 right now in Philly and in the Lehigh Valley about the same thing there in the middle and upper 80s. Let's talk about the satellite and radar loop over the last few hours. Not much out there. We had that haze because of that Canadian wildfire smoke overhead through a good portion of the day. In terms of cloud cover, we do have some clouds beginning to build that will continue to increase from the west as we head through the overnight. But that spinning low pressure system is what ultimately brings us our changing weather pattern for the weekend. Watch the forecast model here. You'll see increasing clouds overnight, maybe a stray shower to start the day tomorrow and then into the afternoon. There's the possibility of a couple of embedded heavy downpours. Now, the better chance for more widespread heavy rainfall will move into the area with the warm front as we make our way into Sunday. Maybe a couple of morning showers, but more widespread showers and thunderstorms through Sunday afternoon. That's why we have the next weather alert up for Sunday. Again, heavy rainfall. We could see some damaging winds, but that all should begin to clear out as we go through Sunday night. That cold front will be very slow to move across the area. We could see a lingering shower or two into Monday for tonight, though, 70 degrees, partly cloudy skies. A little more humidity begins to build as we head into early tomorrow morning and then just starting to watch out for those showers as we go through, especially the second half of the day tomorrow. High temperatures tomorrow will be around 83 degrees. Let me show you the seven day forecast because even though we want to enjoy the weekend, I also want to look ahead to next week too. after that next weather alert on Sunday, trailing shower possible on Monday. Look at Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday highs in the mid and upper 70s to right around 80 under partly cloudy skies. Just back over to you. All right, Grant, thank you.